some Roche Today content. This one is called Facts About Yuki So I Should Know. Give it to me. <laughs> She's the youngest of the youngest daughter of the Soul House. Okay. Well, that's technically a spoiler. Not really. It's, it really isn't. But like, basically, my idea is. What if they had a third sibling, right? What if they pulled up some bullshit like there's a third sibling in the Soul House, but there isn't, okay? It's the youngest daughter. Next. So whose origin was a former noble family and they shouldered the role of diplomats for generations. I think there was mention, right? It's like a family of politicians and pretty much why she's so good at just like debating and never losing. Whoa, AI Yuki, I think. Because of her high social skills and her sophisticated <laughs> sophisticated behavior, bro, high social skills, she a fucking gremlin at home. She was called the noble princess, while Arisa was called the aloof princess. That, I mean, if you look at the interactions at school, that doesn't make a lot of sense. It's just the Yuki that we know at home being the noble princess is just crazy to me. Next. Come on. Is this from the anime? Is this AI or from the anime? I can't tell. No, no, this shit's AI, right? Or maybe it isn't. Was there a Yuki scene like this? What the fuck? She and Alia took the name of the two greatest beauties of the school year. Masha doesn't get it? Masha, no? Next. Yuki facts number five. So's birthday is March 12th. All right, irrelevant. Next. Actually, birthday might be showing up. What are... I actually don't know where we're at in terms of the timeline of Roche today. Is it the New Year's? Like, has there been Valentine's recently? Because, like, if so, then this shit's coming up. Pisces. Yuki fact number six. Zodiac sign is Pisces. I think I am Aquarius. Yes. So, <laughs> perhaps the most important fact, guys. Perhaps the most important fact. She's 15, okay? Chill the fuck out. And then she's 150. What the fuck is 150 centimeters? Oh. 150 centimeters, two inches, two feet. She's four foot nine. <laughs> Dude, these girls are so fucking tiny. She ain't even five. She's she's four foot nine, apparently. Next. Her Japanese voice actor, Wakana Maruoka. And she does a fantastic job. But like, bro, the English voice actor, man. Oh my god, she's actually killing it too. Next. There she is! Rachel? Rachel? I'm sorry for butchering her name, May. She's the one doing the... Well, I hope that she's gonna do is Help, big bro. I'm stuck. But Hello. Good morning, my Oni-chan. <laughs> Ooh, The cringe is too good. Next. She's quite... Okay, what? You double dipping here. Hold the fuck up. I already know she's a noble princess. Not only are you double dipping with the information, you're also butchering the grammar. Come on now. She's quite no as the noble princess. No, come on. She's known as the noble princess. You already told me like a couple facts ago. Shameless. Next one. Number 12. Masachika's blood related, right? We know that. Who's taken into her mother's custody. That's right. Divorce and shit happens. Well, Masatsuko was taken into father's custody, and that's right. That's why we separated, but we still don't exactly know why they're, like, hiding their identity at school. That seems to be a very important part. Next. Bro, this is straight up a fucking... Facts about Masatsuka Yuze? Are these just not complete just spelling mistakes? Is it not Kuze? Isn't that Kuze? Is it Yuze? Am I crazy? It's Kuze, right? It's Masatsuka Kuze. Why the fuck does it say Yuze over here? She's also Otaku, like his big brother, Masatsuka. Like her big... Bro! Like, you, you're you using AI art. The least you could do is feed in your English scripts into fucking chat GPT to fucking fix it. How the fuck are you saying she is also Otaku-like his brother, 
Like his big brother? It's like her big brother. What the f I'm getting pissed off just reading this. I'm just getting pissed off reading this shit. She loves to watch anime and read light novels. We do know this. She a big fucking otaku. Next. She sometimes stay at night to watch anime. <laughs> oh, you're stretching these. Well, of course, she stays up late at night to weeb out, right? Number 16. She's affected Masatsuka in various ways over time as he became an otaku after reading Yuki's otaku stuff. So you're telling me that she is the OG otaku. Maybe she had nothing better to do while she was sick and bedridden. And that's why she began to read a bunch of manga and light novels and watch anime. And then Masatsuka basically, I don't know, somehow it, it, she, he got infected by it. She has a striking resemblance to her mother. Um, Honestly, most of the girls in Roche today, they have this default template face. This smirk, man. This face here, this middle template, just remove the hair. This template exists on Masha, Alia, and pretty much any other fucking girl. But the mom was shown for a bit, and we made that joke of... Masasuka's mom fucking cheated on <laughs> that with Alia's... Anyways. There's, there's probably no uh, connection there, but yes. I want to see the mom one day. Next. Number 18. She has a small figure compared to the average high school girl. Yes, she's fucking 4 foot 9. But is very well proportioned. <laughs> which asserts her femininity. <laughs> Alright, basically she's short as fuck, but she's stacked, but, so it's okay. Next. Okay, following, following the well-proportioned C cup. All right, next. <laughs> this shit changed. Wait, the fuck? It's the same one, but she changed it to Bunny Girl Yuki just for no fucking reason, even though no other panels has ever changed. Really like the C cup one, huh? Overall, she was a beautiful, elegant maiden. We already know this. Next. This could have been the spicy food one, because she likes eating spicy food. Oh, this is like an evil Yuki. What the fuck is this art? She acts like a genuine young lady around everyone as she comes from a formal noble family. But from inside, she's a playful otaku. Yes, degenerate gremlin, little, little goblin of a girl, dude. Next. Number 22. She is shown to carry herself with elegance and in a graceful conduct to keep the reputation of the soul family. But it's a formal noble family. It's former. They're no longer noble. What kind of fucking prestige do you need to hold up in modern day Japan? I would like to know more about the family, but they look super, super rich based on like just the sickly bed that Yuki was in with the maid. Like, and the fact that they had a maid with Ayano back then too, like they gotta be super rich. What? Why are they a noble family? Why are they former? Gotta know, know that later on. Next. She deeply cares about for Masatsuka Kuze and is seen enjoying her time at his out occasionally, yes. Picks the what's it called? The biggest brocon. Is there a greater brocon than Yuki? Yes, there probably is, because obviously this anime is not going it's not going like beyond the line, right? There's a bridge that cannot be crossed, and they're not crossing it, but in other actual incest animes, they do that. Yeah, there's plenty of girls actually that are super broke on. I mean, for example, Miyuki for you know irregular magic high school, or even yeah, Claire from fucking Eminence in Shadow. Next up, number 24. She has a room for herself and she stores all her otaku materials there because she can't do her in her house. Hot take. I think physical copies are very uh, outdated and everything can be just stored. You don't need physical storage, bro. You just you just store this shit digitally, but she's got a fucking goon cave. Good to know. Next, she also kept books about s and <laughs> Wait a minute. In her father's room? With his permit? Wait! What? So like, like, like the dad knew that his daughter was playing around with s and books and he said, you know what? That's fine. As long as you keep it in my room. What the fuck? 
What the fuck is going on here? Okay. O okay, Dad. I see, I, see, I see how it is. Next one. She has done many things that she found interesting in the two... What the fuck does that mean? Okay. What? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck does this one genuinely mean? I'm reading the English, but it's not... It's... She has done many things that she found interesting in the 2D world. But like, you are an anime character. I understand that you read manga and that is a 2D world. So like... Basically, all the weep shit, all the tropes and cliches, she's doing that. She reads a girl running out of the house with a toast in her, a toast in her mouth and bumps into a boy and falls on his face, right? And she does that with Kuzi, and therefore, she is doing that. Okay, I, I think that makes sense. Next. She's a bit sadistic in nature and at times enjoys toying with Alia. Oh, for sure she does. Even last episode, trying to like confront her and being like, Yep, I love him. How about you? Honestly, Alia is... <laughs> I don't... I think Yuki's just in a different caliber of a girl, bro. And that's mean, but it's true. But it's also unfair because Alia needs... Again, Alia is a late hyper carry unit. She does not shine in the early game. The main heroine of this show who is very soon today cannot show the affections early game. She's going to come off annoying. Yuki's different. Yuki is not late game hyper carry. She scales well in the early game, immediately it starts popping off. So in that way, it's unfair, but I do enjoy when she basically teases her. Next up, number 28. She shows no mercy against Alia. And she's done quite damage to her. <laughs> what do you mean damage? I mean, we'll see how much the teasing is going to go through. Next up. Number 29, she's persistent in getting Masasuka in the student council and so has plotted many things. I mean, none of that shit ever fucking worked. The only thing that actually worked was the president basically just kind of like giving a little hint and nudge and saying, you know, you don't have to have a fucking reason to join. Just join and just figure that shit out after. And then the motivation then gets added on with helping Alia run for Prez. Next. Number 30. She also had a habit of kicking open the door to his room, and her goal was to make a hole in it. What? Wait. What? She, every day she just likes kicking his door open, and one day she wants to make a fucking hole in the door. She basically trying to penetrate uh, Dorkun, I guess. Next up. Number 31. She considers and respects Masatsuka's personal life. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think she's pretty reasonable. I think that a lot of the gremlin jokes that she does at the end of the day, you know, she she is very level-headed when she's not in role-play mode. Next. The name Yuki means exists. You and hope. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The name Yuki means you is exist and Ki is hope. Hope exists is her name. For what? For incest to happen? For you to win over Masatsuka? Hmm. Maybe she is the hope for many other people. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know, but a very philosophical name. Next. Yuki facts number 33. Yuki's surname So means circumference, lap, surrounding, circuit, vicinity, area, or I don't know. Su and prevention, ward off, defend, and O, protect and resist. Uh, okay, more more names of Yuki and Suo. What are you... So you're protecting. Protect, resist, preventing, defending, the vicinity. She's like a guard dog? So Yuki is like the existence of hope or hope existing. And Suo is like, in this area, this surrounding, I protect my big bro <laughs> from hoes? I don't know. Next. Yuki suffered from childhood asthma. Yes, we saw that in the bedridden scene, right? In the flashback where she, all, where Aina was also there. Next. Number 35. Yuki will usually go into little sister mode, which is the gremlin mode whenever she's around Masatsuka. Yes. Imagine if someone outside 
of this family saw her in this mode. That would be fucking insane. I hope one of these days that she slips. Next up. What the fuck is this? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Why is number 36 picture so down bad? This little sister mode is one of Yuki's personalities that would be filled with enthusiasm and insanity. In inanity? Hold up. What does inanity mean? Inanity. It's an actual word? It does. It's a word. The quality of being extremely silly or having real no. Basically, just gremlin mode. Just being silly. Right? Showcasing no remorse for any consequences in her actions and would frequently tell Masatsuka about her explicit and intrusive thoughts. Basically, just all the incest shit, right? A anytime Yuki pops off alone at home, that that's her little sister mode. That's that AI? The same AI? I mean, there's... There's a art here. Andre Andreev. Should I search this name on Google? I shouldn't. You guys can do it. You guys can do it. The guy who made the video's name is Mad Dog Aris. You guys are fucking capping right now. Next up. Is it from the light? Wait, that's light level vi- Oh, it changed the- Wait, wait. That's light level visual? Oh! Oh, it's- That- I don't know if that makes it better or worse. <laughs> it's not AI. It's- 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 <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's source material. <laughs> it's stores <art. laughs> Well That's actually great news. It's great news because the more Yuki scenes like this, the more videos that's gonna go over like 20k. That that the more 20k of shit that's gonna happen. That's that's better for me. Next up, what do we have? Yuki facts number 37. Although it may seem like Yuki is careless near Masatsuka, deep down, she always makes sure. Masatsuka would inspire him to a devoid of happiness and endless depression, which is why this little sister... <laughs> so the little gremlin mode exists to make sure that he doesn't get depressed. What an interesting way of justifying the degeneracy, huh? It's just like, guys, do you want the main character to be sad and, you know, depressed? No, that's why we need this shit to happen. <laughs> which my little sister mode is mostly activated on Masatsuka, sure. Sure. I mean, at least there's a reason, right? It's not like there's no reason apparent for her to just act like that. Which is really sad if you think about it. All these... All this fucking CISCON, you know, fucking uh, incest fucking fan service is a defensive coping mechanism to help out her big bro from getting depressed. This shit's sad. Is that it? Oh, you cheeky motherfucker. You patting the last minutes, huh? All right. Show me Yuki. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> well, hopefully this video introduced to you a little bit more facts and fun, you know, things about our most beloved Roche Teta character. Please go check the video out. This is Mad Dog Aris. Go like the video, sub to the channel if you have, but maybe we can check out some of the other videos too. I'll see you next time.